This video is a short clip taken from my live stream. To see the full live stream, click on the link in the description below. Um, now, budget breakdown. This is another one that I want to talk about. Because part of it is their introduced feature that's bad, and part of it is also they did a bit earlier when we talked about the pre-season um, updates and how they're saying that the feature's new when actually it was already in the game. So, they say this, you can now, how much, basically it talks about the financial control, all your financial information, the wage bill, etc. Are you making a profit? How much money did you earn for this preseason? It says you can now see this information broken down to help you plan your finances and make sure you have enough money in the bank to pursue your targets. And it shows a picture of this. Could you not see all this anyway? Was this not already in the game? It was. The transactions section, overview, the profit, the expenses, the earnings, all of this was already in the game. So why is it here? They said you can now see this information broken down to help your finances. Why are you advertising that as a new feature? That was already in the game. What I'm actually looking at here, unless I'm missing something, if you guys can point out something to me that I was missing, because I'm not seeing it here. It looks to me like you're advertising a feature that was that is already there. Baffling. If anyone can clear that up, that would be nice. But that's not the worst part of this. The worst part is the next section. We've also removed the toggle between transfer and wage budget as the split did not make any difference to how it affected your funds overall. So you can now no longer adjust your wage and transfer budget. Someone asked earlier about requesting funds. Will that be in the game? You can no longer even adjust your wage and transfer budget. So definitely request the funds isn't going to be in the game. They've removed that feature. Now their reasoning for this is they claim it doesn't matter because it doesn't make a difference to how much funds you have overall. But the whole point of that was it would allow you to visually budget kind of your transfer budget and your wage budget. And you go say, for example, I've got a 30 million budget to spend on players, transfers, and then say like £100,000 in a weekly wage to spend on that player or on those players. It allows you to visualise that. Now it says you will still be informed about how your budget translates into weekly wage as that information will still be used when agreeing personal terms with players. But how do you know how much your overall budget will translate and convert to wages? It doesn't... You like, don't. I've not seen this. They should have shown that picture. They should have shown that in action visually. Because at the moment, all I'm seeing is that you've removed the toggle to adjust our budgets and not address that issue that you've just created needlessly. Like, why have you spent time doing that again? So... Yeah, Carl says, like, why would they do that? I don't know. I don't know why they do that. Hamid says, yeah, that's stupid. What the hell? Daniel says, that's silly. It takes away from the feel of controlling your team financially. So I says, removing the toggle would be great if that means you have a different balance for wage and transfer budget, which is realistic as there are wage caps in most countries. Yes, definitely. Um, if it's only for visual effects and not actually limiting your contract abilities, it's just dumb. And that's another thing. I don't get that one. I really don't. And like I say, maybe there's something I'm not seeing here, but they needed to show that. Like, they've shown this page. They've shown this picture here. We already know that. We've seen that. That's in every career mode. We don't need to see that. Why have you not shown how it works with, like, without this toggle? That's what you needed to show. So that's really annoying. We'll only know from, like, the closed beta if I'm lucky enough to get a code for that or any of you guys. So again, I don't get that one at all. Um, again, like, why have you spent time doing that? Why have you spent time removing that? The, the finances are the same. You know, you're saying these. this is not a new feature. So I don't know. I don't get it. Um, looking in the comments again. So the takeaway of quality of life feature be more passing an old feature as new. Defo a football manager year then. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um... Brandon, it's like they want to make career mode harder instead of better. I mean, it'd be nice if they did both, but it'd be nice if you're also not fighting against the game. Like, if they're removing that toggle, to me, that's 
that's just making it more like you're battling against the game rather than just giving you kind of like the challenge you're looking for. So yeah, definitely. Liam says when you get promoted to the Prem from Championship, you don't get the 100 million promotional money. Well, the 100 million isn't like the money, the prize money you get for winning the playoffs. It's like the TV rights and stuff and the sponsors. That's why they always call it like it, say it's worth 100 million, like whenever they say it's worth that much. So that should show in the next season from your earnings, like you should have increased like TV money and sponsors and stuff like that and ticket revenue. Um, can't wait until the page where they say we removed this feature and the presentation picture will just be a black screen. Yes, definitely. So that's that's it. Like going through all the features, you know. Overall, for manager like player career mode, as I said at the start of the video, like I feel so positive about that. That's really like taking a step forward. Manager career mode. It's just stagnating. It really is. Like the problem is. Among, like amongst the fact that they're, they're like making bad decisions with these new features and passing stuff off as new when it isn't things that get me is like they'll introduce a feature in one FIFA and it's broken or it doesn't work as it should and rather than addressing that either throughout the year with updates or in the next FIFA they just leave it like it's just there so say for example the training to me that is nowhere near good enough that is such a slog that is the worst part of career mode in my opinion the most horrible sluggish element of it is the training like i cannot i can't get into it it's completely wrong like the sharpness and fitness they confuse fitness with sharpness like and for some reason sharpness is like how much you're training and stuff that's not what that is it's a slug like you can't just load previous sessions you have to go through each individual thing again and load each player and stuff and go through all the team sheets it's it's like a, such a slug and they've just not touched it like they introduced it and left it and that's it and it's things like that it, it baffling absolutely baffling um speedy says bro i'm sorry only just tuning in how much did i miss Quite a lot, but don't worry, this stream will be available on replay. So anyone who's kind of just tuned in, um, the stream will be available afterwards to go back and either I will timestamp or someone will else will very kindly timestamp each section. So we can go through that as well. Um, I'm also hoping to kind of like clip some of these elements of this live stream as well and upload them as videos. We'll see how that one plays out. 